Hey, it's January 2020 and I'm finally at Amara Ridge. The reason I have to actually stamp of the year and the month is that in February 2019, when I first met Edwin Dande, I asked him, why can't I see Amara Ridge? Simply because a lot had been said and written about Amara Ridge and very few people believed that a development of this magnificence was possible. Finally, in January 2020, I got a chance to actually see the development and I'm going to show you two houses in this development. There's only 10 of them. So because I have 10 minutes, I'm going to get started. When I first came here, two things really got me. The first was actually the water feature right outside the house, which I just thought, wow. And then these columns. But the rest of the story of Amara Ridge cannot be told by me, which is fantastic. It will be told by the person who sketched it, fought it through, fought for it, and then finally breathed it into life. The person is architect Paul Oburu, and he's right behind this door. And I'm hoping you'll actually let me in. There we go. Caroline, welcome to Amara Ridge Classical. Thank you, thank you. Can I ask you something before you show me anything else? These columns, by the way, they are grand. Roman or Greek? This is Greek classical. Ah, yeah. hence the reason this is the classical. Hence the reason this is the classical. We were putting a lot of effort to develop them right from the start. Uh -huh. We started, there was a bit of skepticism, but we <laughs> elevated them. We moved from Doric to Ionic, and now we've got Corinthian, uh -huh. which we really believe is the epitome of classical grandeur in architecture. They're rewarding, yes, they they're are. welcoming, they encase, they embrace you. Yes. And they're audacious, they actually show what the building stands for. True. Yes. So, I came through this house, walked literally up here to the stairs and I said, let me take this in. And when I asked you what this was about, you told me you actually have a term for it. Yeah, this is really the celebration of arrival. Uh -huh. We've gone through the hustle and bustle of the city, yes. we've come in, mm -hmm. beautiful aspect that Amara is setting, gone down the valley, and then gone up the valley, true. the arrival experience, uh -huh. the definition, everybody's pot crochet, you park your car, mm -hmm. elevated door, yes. opening, defining the welcome sign, and then you've got a lobby which is grandiose. Yes, very grand. Then what we do in architecture is really the celebration of theater. Okay. It's got to be theatrical. I so we've got to set did. stage uh -huh. and we've got to set, we've got to set the stage and we've got to set the terraces. Okay. So it's Hence. that interaction of the, the stage uh -huh. and uh, the stage and the theater. Uh -huh. So you celebrate the terraces over looking down at what unfolds okay. before you. Hence, as we go down these stairs into the main living room area, you can't help but look beyond that also. You go straight, your eyes go to the garden, you can't help. Yes, and, and, and the garden is really the stage, it's really the oh. center of play. Yes. So we celebrate the indoors as much as we celebrate the outdoors. Okay. And the outdoor really is the ultimate terrace, it's the ultimate drop, and then it's elevated with a pool mm -hmm. that you celebrate, partake, and enjoy. Okay, so I come in and I'm like, wow, wow, and then all of a sudden I'm in here and I'm like, you lowered the ceiling, and I'd love to know why, because it's very smart. Oh, and for the first time, I'm noticing the speakers in the roof. Yes. So we've got to have a balance because, again, uh -huh. with architecture, you're dealing with that bold sense of arrival. Yes. It's big, it's grandiose, but then you've got to get home mm -hmm. and then you've got to bring it down to a human scale. Hence. So, hence, we lower it down. So once we go through the double light lobby, then we've got a living room that's one and a half okay. height. So we yes. kind of lower it down and drop it mm -hmm. to a more moderate level then go into the secondary rooms and drop them even to a further level. I got that and I noticed that you know dining room is to my right from here yeah. and this is another sort of gathering room. Which is an entertainment room. Okay I, I just love the way the house sort of it flows. Yes it flows we try to interopen the spaces mm -hmm. so one space flows into another, into another and they all overlook the garden so all the living spaces overlook the garden they interconnect from within the house but then yes. there are secondary doors that interconnect them yes. outside the terraces uh, outside. as well. I would just want us to stand outside because, you know, when you talked about stage and terraces, I was yeah. like, now I get it, now I'm enjoying the house more than I did before. Yeah. Um, and once again, you, 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 you were very deliberate. Terrace? Yes. 
and another drop. Yes, so here what we did is we really celebrated the aspect. We've got a good aspect, as again I said, we are mm -hmm. on a gently rising hill. Mm -hmm. We overlook the bottom part. So yes. we really took advantage of that to really set that stage. And these terraces, mm -hmm. as much as the cascade down mm -hmm. there, bring you down to a pool deck. Yes. Which is a celebration and the key focus mm -hmm. of all the living of spaces. Of everything. I love the fact that for the first time when I stood here, and then I saw the other uh, five homes. Yes. And I thought, well, that's beautiful. But I have a feeling the view from that house of this house is also spectacular. Yes. And what we did is uh, we tried to develop uh, two different extreme languages of architecture because architecture is very subjective. Okay. You either love what you have uh, or, or you, you don't. Or you don't. Yes. And that's really true art in architecture because mm -hmm. it evokes emotion. So we wanted to play the contrast of both. So we created the street of classical and the street of modern. I love so that both streets. those stand in, yes. in contrast. When it all came together, did it live up to expectations? Because you are a creative at the end of the day. And sometimes, because obviously, I'm sure Saiton wanted to chip this and change this and cut that. Yeah. When you looked at it finally, did you say, yeah, we are glad and we are really happy with what we achieved. So we've uh, received it well, mm -hmm. customers have received it well. And that's what matters. Yes. And the contrast is greatly appreciated. It is, isn't it? Yes, because you've got the two extremes and they've all blended into one mm -hmm. good place community. So you look out and you see something different. They look up, they see something different. Mm -hmm. And just seeing the sheer level of contrast yes. is what really makes it stand out to be quite unique. You don't get a lot of gated communities with mm. two extremes, two designs, yes. two designs yes. embracing and coming together as one. So yeah. we've managed to do that here and it's a great experience. Well, that's you speaking. I still need to get myself across there, okay. see the modern side and look at what it looks like from there here. And then maybe I can appreciate what you're saying.